Hey everybody. Okay. Started a new live video. Hopefully we can hear this. Let's test it out. Sorry, I guess I hit a button. I don't know what I did. Okay. I'm sure that this one works. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Okay. It's pretty I'm loud. I'm sure that this one works. Okay. Let's try opening the chat on the screen. That way I don't have to stare at my phone because nobody likes that. Hola. Welcome. Okay. I had to start a new stream. Yes. Sorry, my bad. Okay. Here we go. Happy Friday. <laughs> oh, that is so weird. When I open the new stream, let's see. Wonder what just fell in my house. Did y'all hear that? Something just fell. Let's see. So there's volume, but when I hit play on my laptop, it's not coming through the laptop because of the Yetis on this big bad boy, super heavy thing. Okay, so it says we have volume on my cell phone. We will just continue. Wonder if that was an ice maker or something else that fell. I have no idea. Okay, again, before I start, I still want to say, even though it did catch on volume on the other video prayers for florida i think i watched um i'll have to say her name correctly love always by stephanie is that her username um i think i saw her video today and it says that the storm is supposed to hit tonight maybe um what's her username <clears throat> Y'all know who I'm talking about, right? Library, watch, no, not watch later, history. That's where I need to go. Yeah, Love Always by Steph. <clears throat> Love uh, to hear about what she talks about and her crazy foods that I don't eat in Texas and what she calls them. Anyways, let's get going. Um... It acts like I did two purchases. It's so weird. Nine seven and nine seven. Unless I got somebody else's receipt, I have no idea. But I do know I spent thirty five dollars and five cents. Here it is. Called the Goodwill Pound Store, and uh, it's nine point four five pounds in Hardline which is like books, glass, kitchen, anything like that, jewelry, purses. Um, and then the clothes, which is textile, 12.85 pounds at $12.85. That's a dollar a pound. And then I got one, two, three, four, five pairs of shoes and through another 3.25 pounds of hard lines so that's my 35 dollar receipt there i have no idea why i have another receipt for 13 dollars over here i don't know i can't remember if i spent that or if maybe i grabbed somebody else's receipt no clue so if it is there's like i guess 45 dollars here i don't know okay so in the other video i just showed this little jewelry bag that I got. I think it's a jewelry bag or a makeup bag. I don't know. It doesn't have a name or anything. And this is the strings to tie it closed like that. Um, I'm going to wash it because it does look like it got ran over by the shopping cart right there. Or dropped in the dirt or something. No clue. So that should have been weighed with the... Um, clothes but somehow it's in this textile bag so, i mean hard line sorry <clears throat> okay so i paid up for this i wonder how much it cost what i liked most about this is that you just hang it by this one little nice hook 
So, yeah. And then you put a candle in there. It's pretty dusty. So, my total, again, was the 35. So, we can say... Yeah, this could have, this is heavy, super heavy. So I don't know. I probably paid a couple dollars for this. It had a candle. I don't know where it is. So maybe it's in the other bag. No clue. Um. Okay, y'all know I still haven't switched back from. T I have T-Mobile right now, and I haven't switched to AT&T yet. But hopefully next month we will. So I couldn't look stuff up. My internet doesn't work in the Goodwill bins outlet. Um, in the other video that I had to reload, I did buy these Kato shoes. They're super cute. I can't tell what size they are. Um, I just don't see the size anywhere. So I might have to measure them or just put my own foot on them and see what I think it also is a size, which size it is. Um, but I thought this was pretty cool. This little case is really kind of cheap, but it's kind of vintage, I guess. What does it say? Okay, so it's Boy Scouts of America. I didn't know that. Be prepared. Cool, right? It's not ripped or anything. I thought what, in, what was inside of it was pretty cool. It's a um, Imperial Stainless USA... Cool. Boy Scouts of America National Council. My kids haven't been in Boy Scouts yet. I was in Girl Scouts as a kid. So I don't even know. Oh, look. How cool. This would be great for camping. Yeah. We so it's a three-in-one. You have your butter knife, fork, and your spoon. Never. I have never seen this. Have y'all? I don't even know what the value is. I don't care if it's not worth a lot. This is just a cute little gadget here. And again, we actually could keep this and put this in our camping bag. So I'll look up the price on it and see what it goes for. Since it's Boy Scouts, somebody else may like it. And look, it's cute. You can put it on your belt loop. That's awesome. Very awesome possum. Okay. We have more hard lines here. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm going to move the, oops, the laptop. <clears throat> now, this has got to be the $7. So, yeah, okay. I probably, for that little light and that metal stand, I probably paid $2.44 for that and for this um, silverware thing because this is a whole hard line bag right here. And it's pretty big, so I can assume that maybe I paid $7.09 for this whole bag right here. So, I got some cute stuff. Eey. Okay, we can ever get it open. I don't know, maybe later today, I really think I might do a video if anybody wants to join me later. I'll just go live randomly probably if I ever get time or whatnot. I know I have a couple errands to run today, but not too many. Um, I might set up my table again right here behind me and use my lights and record while I do. I have a lot of shoes that I need to start taking pictures of and get them listed. Um, okay, so I got this pretty big size little chair. It's not broke though, so I totally got this. Isn't it cute? It's wood. Let's see what the little tag says. It says it's made in China. Um, it's just super duper cute. Love it. Got that. I guess that's hemp seat right there. I think that's hemp, right? Quote me if I'm wrong if you like. Looks like hemp. Okay, um, this was okay. I thought maybe we could just keep some stuff in it. It's the original vintage Tupperware, um, and it is, it's sealed great. There's no flaws with it. Um, and I was hoping that the Tupperware from back when I was a kid is probably where this is from, or it could be older, I don't know. Hoping that it's like the BPA-free and it doesn't have any chemicals. 
I don't know. Do y'all know? But it's I'm trying to see if there's a year. Oh, look, it's Orlando, Florida. Um, <clears throat> I don't see a year, of course. I don't know if they had their year, but whichever. This will be great for cereal or nuts and stuff like that. Nuts and berries or whatever you want to put in there. Oatmeal, all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> I think someone else had this and threw it back. Um, so it's because it is kind of heavy, but all that's wrong with it is this piece here. And I'm just going to pop this off and you can glue something over it. Let's see what it looks like. How well I can get it popped off with a butter knife. <clears throat> I thought it was super cute. Um, so it's got that hashtag, um, pretty thick wood piece, probably from like Hobby Lobby or something like that. So there's a hole. Oh, there's a hole. Oh, sorry. Okay. There's a hole somewhere. Felt it. Actually, there's not. Okay, so I planned on just trying this off just like I had intended to show y'all. So I got half of it off. And then I'm just going to peel the rest of it off, um, scrape it off, whatever. If I have to sand it or whatever, it'll come off pretty good. And we'll put something else on it. See how easy that is? And see, I could just glue something right here. So, whichever. I thought it was super cute to just um, recraft it or whatever. Because this is a really nice, solid piece of wood right here. So, I totally picked that up. Probably for a dollar or so. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Um, I know we have purchased our Apple trackpad. I really don't like it. Um, or our Apple mouse had got water in it or something. Or key our keyboard, actually. So we had to order a new keyboard. And they were pretty expensive if you get the Apple brand. Um, I have no idea what this is. It, maybe it's a charging dock or something. We've never owned it. Owned one of these. Um, but it looks like it's in really good condition. Can you see the table here? It just sits up like that. You got all this trash right here. Um, so let me know in the comments if y'all know what the heck this is. Again, I think it's a charging dock. I don't know. Somebody tried to sell it at the at a garage sale for like a dollar, and I don't think anybody bought it. I probably paid. 50 cents, 75 cents for that. I don't know. It's not too heavy. So I went ahead and picked it up and took a risk on it. And I don't know, maybe we can use it. We all have Apple <laughs> phones here. So yes. Okay. Let me show you. I picked up this backpack. Never heard of the brand. It says PLC pack, all purpose systems. There's no holes or anything in the corners. It kind of does need to be ran like washed, maybe hand washed or through the washer or something. Um, but I did pick this up for myself to keep it, maybe carry my laptop to work because I do do that a lot. Um, put this in there. So I don't even know where they sell this backpack, but paid 75 cents a pound for it. And I have some stuff in it and I don't know what's in here. Do y'all want to know? Let's see. Is that a zipper? I guess this is a zipper that fell off of something. It doesn't go to the backpack though. This actually doesn't match. So I guess whoever owned this backpack was saving this zipper and they stored it in the backpack. So let's see. Oh, okay, let's see. Okay, what I got was, there's some funny stuff in here, you guys. Okay. Um, 
I don't think this purse has a brand on it. Yes, it does. Uh, Sage and Harper. It's like, hmm, what do you call this? Suede. Yeah, suede-like. Orange. Um, it's got this leather pleather front here. It's in really good condition. I just loved the good condition of it and the beautiful colors. Um, I don't even know if this is worth much, but it is super cute. I will try to sell it online, Poshmark or eBay. <clears throat> Let me take out this stuff out of here. Okay. Okay, so we paid for a ponytail. Usually I like to shake the purses upside down before I purchase them. They usually always drop out pennies and dimes. Um, I actually had that happen when I just went. So yeah, it's this cute little purse, crossbody. Um, you could put a, fit a laptop in there pretty much. Um, so I paid 75 cents a pound for that. Super cute. And actually, I'm going to hold it and put this stuff back in. Okay, so I picked up this puzzle box. It's really cool. I've never seen it before. But what I liked about it the most was that it has this rubber band that keeps them all together. And so you slide out a puzzle. And it looks like we're already missing a pig. I didn't notice it, but it's got three there. And then you got your oops, sea animals here. Luckily, it won't take me forever to match those, right? Okay. Then I got some zoo animals on this one. It says Melissa and Doug on the back. It's really good quality uh, puzzle book. And then the bunnies all chewed up on that one, dog. I actually think I'm going to give this to my mom to keep at her house because um, we do have some grandbabies or whatnot she does and we just found out my niece is pregnant so we're gonna have another baby in the family so she'll get to my niece will have a baby that'll raise up with my brother's little child that he has so she's only a couple months okay another item in there i think i saw that some of these um polaroid instant cameras sell for a little bit of money um but i couldn't remember and i really loved them so i went ahead and picked one up um and it looks like it works and everything it doesn't seem like there's any damages it is one step 600 polaroid land camera so this may be a risk but again i do think some of these sell for a little bit of money so i went ahead and picked it up it costs like a dollar Okay, put that up. <clears throat> and then I honestly, look, it has $2 on it. It's not worth much. Not sure why I even got this because now that I see, well, that just needs to be pulled through actually. So you can pull that through a hole. It's a leather purse, by the way. You can put like, your money or your medicine or whatever in here. Okay, good, I got it to pop through. So it's this cute little fringe purse. Is, it, is that not the cutest thing ever? And it is real leather, suede, whatever. It's got Astro zipper, it seems kind of vintage, you guys. It's not cheap at all. It's probably handmade too, okay. So yeah, it's a really cute real leather and it does have a flower symbol on there like so stamped in. So I got that, probably cost me a quarter. I couldn't resist this because it's just so freaking cute. Um, I guess it's like a frying utensil. We're not really frying much, many things right now, but maybe even in olive oil or coconut oil when we're cooking, this might help us to cook. I don't know. I just thought it was the cutest thing ever, and it's super lightweight. So super happy to get, um, so far, these two kitchen items for my kitchen. <clears throat> 
And then I've never seen these before, um, but I did like that it says Brew Tiffle Morning has a, cha a rooster on it. But uh, basically, it's Recycle Me um, 2013. Oh, it looks like they had lids, but what it says on the side is, oh, okay, it's made by Aladdin, and it's Sustain. It says, reuse this cup. It's made for refills, not landfills, and when it's time, recycle it. I guess if it's broken or something. Um, I honestly didn't need these, but I think I was going to take them up to work, but I just think they're cute to have hot coffee in it. See here it says coffee, tea, uh, shots, syrup, milk, and special, blah, blah, blah. Really nice uh, quality good cups. And so again, this probably cost me like 50 cents or less probably for all those. <clears throat> I did not need this, but again, it's just like a little decor piece. Um, I won't be using this one. Um, but it was just cute. I don't know. Probably shouldn't have gotten this, but it's super cute. Couldn't pass it up. And somebody had a dollar price tag on it. I probably paid some change for this. So got two of these <laughs> funky spoons. I'm going to put them in my cups, right? Okay, that's it for the kitchen. Okay, so I was talking to someone there, and I was like, oh, I need to put this back. I don't need this, but I think it's hilarious. And so I went ahead and got it anyways because it doesn't cost a lot. Um, it's an outhouse, like the potty. It's in really good condition. It's got this real uh, tree-like bush things, and don't know what it's called, um, ivy. But it opens up. It's got that cute little door handle that's falling apart a little bit. Is it cut in half? It is. Okay. You can't tell unless you pop it in half. So there's like this moose in there. And he's got a paper. He's got his drawers down. Look at his tail. Is that a tail? Or is that? What is that? There's rope over there. What is that? No clue. Anyways, look at it's even got the little toilet paper. I can tell you that when I was really big into selling on eBay, um, probably five years ago, super big into eBay, um, I had a lady buy some baby clothes for her grandbaby that had moose on them, and she just literally said she was obsessed with mooses. Um, so you have to keep in mind that some people just are absolutely crazy about this stuff. So I might list it online, I don't know. It says made in China, something Ohio. Ohio Wholesale Incorporated, Barberton, Ohio. So there's my cute little outhouse. Super cute, right? I thought so. Yes, I did think so myself. Okay. Let's see here. Just checking, making sure I wasn't missing any comments, but it doesn't look like I am. Okay, so that's the backpack, like so. Um, it was really good condition. The name is almost worn out on the inside, so you can't even hardly read it. <coughs> so we're going to get into some shoes and some textile, which is clothes. And again... I think I bought like five pairs of shoes. I already showed you one in the beginning of the video. And then I'll show you four more. And then on the clothes, I have 12.85 pounds at a dollar a pound, which ran me $12.85 for all these clothes. And except there's four pairs of shoes in here. <clears throat> and one of the shoes are pretty big. All the shoes, again, are $2, and I don't know if these are worth anything, so I may have just wasted my money, but I could not pass these up. Let me know what you think in the comments below, especially with all the rain we have going on. I got these super duper tall, tall, heavy, really good quality rain boots. 
and they are by Stone Creek. Okay. I mean, these bad boys are high quality, heavy duty, steel shank. I don't even know what steel shank means, but that's what it says down there. <laughs> um, I just thought they were super cool because they're super long. But then again, there's nothing wrong with them. So I went ahead and paid two bucks for them. I wouldn't be surprised if someone paid like a hundred bucks for those or something. I don't know. Let me know if you do know. Oops. Okay. So I got these Gianna Gianni Beanie uh, flats and they are leopard. They're super cute. They have been worn a little bit, but they're still pretty good. So I went ahead and picked them up. They have a little bit of wear on them. See, not too bad. But they are like Oxford, I guess is what you call them, kind of like. And then I dropped a pair. I think I've heard of little kids talking about these or that these were super popular. So I picked up these Stevies. They're almost brand new. They're leather, Indian-like kind of shoes. They um, just need to be dusted off, obviously, a little bit. Um, they actually look like they're in better condition than what the video does show. So, yeah, pretty good condition. These are a size 1 to 2, I guess is what it says. And I think these are a really popular brand. I'll have to double check that to be sure, but pretty sure. Okay, so I almost put these back, but y'all know I love booties. It's suede and then it's pleather leather back here. Um, wow, these are Gianni Beanie as well. Um, I always see her clothes and her shoes all the time at the bins. Um, it is a mall brand. You, you can buy it in Dillard's um, here locally is where it's most commonly sold unless you maybe get it at TJ Maxx or something like that. So these are a size seven and a half. If I don't sell them, I could totally wear these. So that's always a score and the toes are in excellent condition. I'm telling y'all I got lots of shoes to sell. Okay. So I saw this as I was checking out and I think my husband might keep it. Maybe, but it just says Go Buffs, Y-T-A-M-U. It's just got a buffalo on it. It's just a um, extra large, um, it says K-A. I've never, ever seen this brand tag before. Um, but I think he might like it. It's rare that I find XXL shirts for him. Um and hopefully he'll like that. It's got a kind of a cool color. So we'll see if he likes it. <clears throat> so I paid up for some sweaters since fall is almost here, or it already is, I guess. It's September right now, the beginning of September. Um, this sucker is heavy and it's really ugly, but it's kind of cute. It's kind of like that stonewash um, jean and it does have jean on it but it's a cotton long uh, cardigan cape like I guess I'll put it on for y'all but let me show you the tag it's northstyle.com 55 rammy cotton it's a size large I've never heard of this brand before but I can tell you that this material is super thick and really good quality you just can feel how thick the fabric is. Super heavy. Um, and it does have, are these real wood or are they plastic? I think they're plastic. But some really heavy log-like um, buttons there. It's long sleeve. Yay, is that the mailman? I shipped a Patagonia um, sweater I sold on Poshmark today, so. Let me see. Yep, that's the mailman. Y'all want to see? Oh, I'll have to unplug the... Um... I know y'all don't care to see my mailman, right? There he is. 
I really do love him because he helps me make my money, right? Okay. I kind of want to get him a gift this Christmas or something or get him some snacks. I wish I knew what he really would love to eat while he's at work. He's older, so I'm not saying I like think he's hot or anything. I just think he's a great guy. Um, so let me show you. Do, do, do. It's a really long cape. So I thought somebody would like this. Um, be looking at my fat knees, right? I do have shorts on. Okay. So that's that. I have no idea if I'm even going to make my money back on that freaking sweater, but I hope I do. I have another sweater. Actually, I have a couple. I'm sorry. I just have to stand up to uh, show y'all the clothes that I bought. I like to show you all the details. Check this out. Where is it? I can find that. Okay. Remember I told y'all I get a large piece of fabric and I'll lay it on the table and then I'll start stuffing stuff inside. That way she can weigh all this together. Okay, because you want to be organized when you get to the register when they're weighing hard goods and textiles and you're separating shoes and stuff. <clears throat> so, this is a really nice piece. Um, and I think I've seen YouTubers say that Umji may be an anthropology or a different, I don't know. I can't keep up with it, you guys. Just do the best you can. Um, um, G. It's a 1X, so that's good. It's a really... Oh, I'm sorry. You can't see, can you? It's a really boho, hippie look. It's got that cold shoulder right there. Ties. Um, it's spandex waist, so it gathers there to make you look thinner. It's not really pulling up, sorry. Anywho, super cute. You guys, honestly, I think this feels like the lady wore it one time, if even that. It feels like it's ex excellent quality. To be honest, I don't think this has ever been worn. I don't think it's ever been washed either. The fabric is just, it feels too new to me. So, it's a pretty cool shirt. I like it. It's cute. It's for sale. <clears throat> Found a cool pair of socks. I'm not sure if, I think these may be girl socks, but they're excellent condition. I'll find somebody who loves them. <clears throat> okay. Sorry. I found two of these and they have new with tags. I'm kind of confused. Like the price on them were really cheap, like 12 and 14 bucks. I'm not sure who donated these or what boutique. So I guess you have a top like that. Does this hang? Yeah, okay. So it hangs like that. It's more of a summer um, top. And it says Clusi or, hold on. Let me show you. Like that, made in China. Um, there's the tag. It's got some kind of mirror on there. It's weird. Let me see at the fabric. It feels kind of like silk, but I doubt it. No, not in there. And they literally, some boutique just donated these because it was out of season. So it's a size medium and it's just polyester. So what size is this one? See, these don't have a price on them. <clears throat> wonder if this is a medium too. Where is it? Here it is. It's on the inside. So that's a small. Okay. I went ahead and picked those up. I think I, I do have some more new with tags. Um, this was just a cute, weird shirt. It's camo. It's like brown here, but then it's this pink coral neckline. And that's the alternative brand 
uh, clothing brand and they have really good fabric so <clears throat> Um, it's poly, cotton, and rayon. It is large. It may fit me. I don't know. It's more of a junior size, but it's kind of cute. I liked it. So I went ahead and picked it up. And then, oh, look, here's another one of those shirts. Oh, the tag just fell off. We need to put that one back on. Um, I thought this one had a price, did they? Nope. So let's put that on. This thing is okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, and the clasp needed to be closed. I swear I thought one of these had a price. Oh, look, it has a S for small, doesn't it? Let me see if this one has medium. That way I don't have to, yeah, look for the tag on the inside. So there's the M for medium. So what, we got two mediums and one small. So on Poshmark, I can do one listing and I can put the sizes on there. And so I don't have to list it three times. I can just list it once and people can buy that one listing. And then when they purchase it, Poshmark will still keep my listing active for the remainder quantities. So that's super cool. Outback Red, made in China. Tag looks super fancy. It's gray, um, but I just love the polka dots. I've never heard of this brand. This is super cute. I might actually wear it, but it is a small. I don't know if it'll fit me. So that's cute. This obviously came out of the Goodwill um, stores and nobody bought it so they donated it to the bins the pound store um, again not all towns have a pound store just the bigger cities i guess which lubbock's not even too big um, this is just a forever 21 shirt it's a medium but it's super cute because it does that crossover waterfall drape kind of right there um, it actually looks in better condition than it's picking up in the video. But I actually knew that if um, I could actually wear this, possibly. So I did pick it up. But I do think you'd have to wear a shirt underneath of it because it totally goes open right there. So I was going to try that out. If not, it'll just go in a garage sale or something. I don't really waste my time on Forever 21 pieces that are basic. Um, for a return, I'd like to get um, items with, you know, a more of a return. And mostly because I'm so far behind. I have so much crap to list. It's not even funny. I need to hire somebody, right? So here's an anthro piece. It's the stamp one. The, I don't know, is it Pilcro? I don't know where I even got that word from. Unfortunately, it's a size small. Should be okay for Poshmark. And it's just a striped t-shirt, like so. No flaws. Pretty cute. This um, is the tags were taken off, but I have one that is new at tags. So I think this is new at tags. And I've never heard of this brand either. It's a very weird Italian shirt, I think it's Europe, like European, I don't know. Uh, Pe Pepe Peluso, it's an extra large. Oh, look, it's got a 1999 sticker on here, but I don't know if that just came off of something else. So, it's got that weird stitching. So, I thought the tag, and because it's European. And it feels super soft and it wasn't faded. I went ahead and got it to resell it. Um, hoping that I get a little bit of money. Because I have picked up a shirt like this and it sold okay. It was made in Italy on Poshmark. Then I found this same shirt, new with tags. Let me show you. It's a very weird, weird shirt. Like it's got some funky designs in it look at those pretty flowers and the stars like so off it's different where's the other one i don't know somewhere in here here it is 
So that's an extra large, what's this one? This one's a medium and it doesn't have a price. So this one has the tags. Let me show you. It's got the style number, all that good stuff. I have no idea what store this came from, but I love them for donating new tags, right? I will totally find a new home for it. So there's that one. I think it's identical to the other one. Look at the stars. It's so weird. It's even got the cross like so. And are those angels or I have no idea. There's people in there. Okay. So let's fold this up so it won't be all wrinkly and I don't have to steam it. Okay. <clears throat> yes, so again, later today, I might do another video. I'll set up the table right here and um, have my lights going and maybe um, take some pictures. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting all kinds of messages. So here's another new tags here. And it has a sale price or the original price of $12.99. So it's not, this is just a basic, and I think it's actually pretty ugly, but this purple leopard here. Um, new with tags, so I went ahead and got it. Um, let me see, I gotta meet somebody. About 30 minutes. Okay. One more. Sorry, guys. Okay. Done. All right. So this is super cute though. Look at all that lace. Um, about a girl, it's a size large. I think it's gonna be too big for me, but it's super um, soft. It's kind of got that Dolan effect or whatever right there. Super cute. So I'm totally gonna list this on Poshmark for sale. Um, it's got some fancy buttons. Just touching it is just elegantly super soft. So I love it. Just the texture alone. And I would definitely be sure to put that in my listing that this is a super soft, very soft fabric. It's nice. So this may be ugly, but I think it's so cool. You see that gold shimmer? I totally wish this fit me. It's so pretty. I love that gold shimmer right there. I have some shoes that are flats um, and they're pretty worn out. I bought them on Poshmark, I think. Hello. Um, that would match these, but this shirt won't fit me. It's a small. It's kind of cool. It has a belt. I've never heard of the brand. Check out that brand. Um, unique Spectrum, I guess. Anyways, quick story on that. The, there's a girl that has the, sh um, the same shoes I was just telling you about. She has the same shoes that are used on Poshmark, and they've been sitting for months. And she will not accept my lower offer than what she has for them. I think she has them listed for like 20 bucks. Well, I'm not buying them used for 20 bucks. I already have the same shoes. They're just kind of pretty worn out. <coughs> Anyways... This is so cool. I love the gold. I don't know. It's kind of grannyish, but it's super cute. Ooh, look at this. I saw this when I was checking out, and I could not leave it there. Boston Proper has got some really, 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 really nice clothes. Some of them not so much. Yeah, so it's dog hair or something um, everywhere. It's not faded. This is perfect black condition. Needs to be obviously lint rolled or whatever. But it's that um, bodysuit. And it's pretty popular right now going on. Um, winter's coming. So again, I got it. It's a thick cotton material. It's uh, cotton and spandex. 
Look, it's made in Macao. I've never even seen that. Macau, M A C A U. Never even seen that. The fabric is really good quality. So I totally picked this up, and hopefully somebody will buy it. Super stretchy. Um, this was cool. I found this, I think, when I first got there. Bella Me, maybe? It's a boutique, probably, brand. Do do do. Cheetah Leopard. It's just a, a cardigan. Super cute. Hey, Red. Did your grandma text you? Oh, no. They want to meet. Told them 30 minutes. Okay. This was a score, you guys. I've shown you this brand before because I recently got some shoes. Desigual, Desigual, whatever. Look at that super long tag. If you see a tag like that, you know it's, I mean, that's money right there. People don't just make a huge long tag like that. You could cut it on the dotted line right there if you wanted to, and it still leaves the size right here and the name brand, which is awesome, but I love that they left the original on here. And look, the tag is even embroidered, okay? Come on, you guys, if, if you see that, totally pick it up too, like stitched in the tag, literally. Um, but it is embroidered, it's a thick, what is this, a dress tunic, tunic, embroidered with long, or big pockets. It's a size, what do we say, a medium, yeah? Yeah. Look at the back. It's got the name written, uh, embroidered in the back. Super cool. I bet this one sells for good money. Picked up this black shirt. It says ranch on the back, and it feels brand new. And it says, oh, that's funny. It says double D. <laughs> um, double D ranch made in China. So it's got these metal button class, whatever, all over it. This is new with tags. It's kind of ugly. I almost threw it back, but I went ahead and got it. I see you collection. Okay. So it had an original price of $29.99, and then they lowered it to $14.99. So never heard of it, I don't think. I see you. Almost done. There was a cabbie uh, purple shirt just like this I almost got, but it was cotton, but it had a tiny hole in the back, so I just threw it back since I found this one, and it's just Forever 21. I really wanted the cabbie one, but since I had a hole, I decided not to get it. Okay, so Calvin Klein, this is like the shimmer, what is that, a shimmer gray blue maybe? It's really silvery kind of color. Calvin Klein. It's a 2X. I think this is just a shirt. Pretty sure. Yeah. Career shirt. Super cool. Not sure what the fabric is. Let's look. <clears throat> Polyester. Look at this cool tag. It's like clear rubber. Expensive. Are you here for lunch, Dad? I was going to go to the TNT. Right now? Yeah, I'm back my phone right now. You're going to switch phone companies today, or? So how much do you have to pay to get a new phone? I don't know. I was going to go up there. Okay. Okay, and then your grandma's... Or Roy says they'll give me an ETA shortly. Um, I found a Roxy swim top all by itself. It's reversible, I guess. I love Roxy. It sells okay. Um, so I picked this up. Pretty cute. Totally out of season, but whatever. This is a Soma brand. Uh, again, I used to think this was the same brand as the Sonoma at Kohl's. It's not. This is a bra brand, and they sell lots of lingerie, but they also sell clothes, and they do sell okay. Um, this is just a uh, cardigan. 
cardigan that ties really long like this. I don't even know what you call this. Anybody? I don't like it. Somebody else would like it, though. <clears throat> okay, Joy, Joy. It's a size medium. It's a silky top. I just thought it was pretty. So I got it. And then this is ECI, which is a good brand. I went ahead and got this one. Some of their pieces sell for a lot of money, and some of them don't. You can get them pretty cheap, but this is a very expensive brand. Large. It's pretty big. It's probably like a large to extra large, though. Is it Batwing? Let's see. I guess. It's really funky. I don't know, but it does tie at the waist and stuff like that. So this was funky. I had to get it. Never heard of the brand at all, um, but it looked cool. It's called Hazel, 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 Haze, maybe, size small. Tag looked pretty cool, too. And then I just loved the design of it. It's like lingerie, but it's actually a shirt you can wear out. Spaghetti straps, so it's adjustable. Um, it's got that cute, sexy black lace. This honestly does feel like it's pretty new, and there's no stains either, so that's cool. <coughs> Billa, and I think, it, yeah, this is, stands for Billa Bong. I think sometimes I don't realize that, um, but it's just a boho, hippie, baby doll-like kind of shirt, and it's got all that cute lace and crocheting, so that's that. This one's kind of worn a little, but I love it. I uh, love the color. It says it's active. It's a size medium. It zips in the back. But it's this funky green striped shirt with a pocket. Um, but it does show your chest or your, what do you call this? Your chest up here by your neck, I guess. So I thought it was pretty cool. Okay. And I love these. I'm going to see if they fit me. I totally think these are granny shorts. They're like totally vintage and rough um, fabric. There is no... Well, there is a tag, super old, old ass tag too. Um, I'm going to see if these fit me um, because they're spandex and yeah, love spandex because I'm chunky. <laughs> it says it's a size 14 made in USA and it says Missy on it. Um, it's super old. It has the RN number on it, but no brand. But I don't know. I think these are super cute. They're like a large, maybe extra large for my big foot. And they even have like some flaw on it. And I didn't care. Like they're just too cute. Love them. Um, we'll try those on after we wash them. Almost done, you guys. So this is super ugly, but it's, it's unique. And so I went ahead and got it. And I think this brand is a good brand too. Merchant or kind of like merchant, but mechant, merchant, size small. Um, it's all this funky leopard zebra looking print. It's a cape, kind of ruffly. It's super cool, even though it's ugly. It's like an older woman's probably kind of thing. It does button. So let me show you guys. It's got a ruffle sleeve like that. And yeah, it's got that ruffle down there. I could totally wear this because it's so ugly, right? Let me show you the back. Yep. Cool, cool. I like it, <clears throat> even though it's ugly. Very ugly. Um, it's polyester and spandex. Another Calvin Klein. I like to pick up Calvin Klein. If it's not damaged, you should also pick up Calvin Klein. 
just even just risk it. You never know. Um, but yeah, that's a medium Calvin Klein. It's probably more like a large because it's so stretchy. And then that's that peplum long sleeve career office top. I doubt it's silk, but let's check. Look again, it's got that expensive rubber tag. Polyester and spandex. To be honest, silk doesn't sell any more than a polyester to me, um, unless it's 100% cotton. Um, it really is just all about the style and everything like that. So last piece, I couldn't pass it up because I might even keep this since it's not black. It won't show up all the dog hair that we have. Three dogs, right? One, two, three. We had four. Um, but it kind of scares me. Maybe this is an anthropology tag or something like that. So it may be worth a little bit of money. I'll look it up. It says debut. I think D-E-B-U-T, yeah, debut, size medium to large, it's perfect, and oh, it even has pockets, it's kind of got that Dolan look right there, see, I think that's what that's called, the Dolan, learned that from Nicole State, um, <clears throat> so the best part about this thing is that it even covers the butt, Okay, yeah, totally love this. I'm probably gonna keep this. Don't look at my fat knees, I already told you. <laughs> okay, so we're basically done with the haul. That's all I got. We're done. All right, I hope you guys have a happy Friday. I totally wanna go to the Goodwill bins today. But then I told you I wanted to do that video of listing stuff. So which am I supposed to do? List stuff or go to the bins and get more junk? I think I need to be listing. So I'll probably see you guys again later online again. Have a good Friday and come visit me later if you want. Talk to you soon. And again, prayers for Florida. Hope it does not hit you too hard. If it does, I hope everyone stays safe and is found and recovered and everything of that nature. So God bless. Stay safe. Bye-bye.